Greenhouse gas emissions were recently assessed in Palm Springs, and the city says it has exceeded the state's ambitious goals to reduce emissions and help fight climate change by a significant 16 percent. I spoke with Council Member Lisa Middleton about this and also the controversy surrounding the cancellation of this year's 4th of July fireworks. Lisa, first off, tell us how the city of Palm Springs has reduced gas emissions. Well, we uh, initiated uh, a little over a year ago our Desert Community Energy uh, Program. Uh, we're really pleased with the success of that. Over 80% of uh, Palm Springs customers are participating in that program, and it has uh, actually reduced uh, greenhouse gases in Palm Springs uh, to 16% below what they were in 2010. 16 percent that's significant we think it's very significant it's the equivalent of taking twenty thousand cars off the road wow. uh, those of us who are committed to addressing climate change know uh, that this is not going to be uh, an easy or a quick fix uh, it took us decades uh, to get into the situation that we're in today uh, but these are the kinds of programs that uh, allow us to address uh, climate change in a very meaningful way. And I am just so proud of the people of Palm Springs for stepping up uh, in the way that they have. And do you foresee that that number will continue to grow by next year and the year after? I think it will. You know, today uh, there are a little over 11 million uh, customers in California that are participating in community choice aggregation programs, CCAs for short. Uh, I think this is the emerging uh, trend. I'm glad that we're building it uh, through action at the local level uh, and one of the things that that means for a city like ours, uh, we just brought three new windmill farms uh, online. Uh, it's going to produce over 150 uh, construction jobs, uh, uh, about a half a dozen operational jobs into uh, the future. Uh, but this is uh, energy that is going to be produced in Palm Springs and used in Palm Springs. I'm curious, are other valley cities doing what Palm Springs is doing? Rancho Mirage has uh, started a program. They got in a little bit ahead of us. Uh, and uh, we are still hopeful that uh, our friends in uh, Palm Desert and Cathedral City will participate in uh, the DCE program. They have an opportunity uh, to do so. Uh, and as they start to look at our numbers, uh, we hope that uh, they will make that choice as well. But that's one that their city councils have to uh, to make those decisions. Coming up, part two of my interview with Council Member Middleton, her thoughts on the cancellation of this year's Fourth of July fireworks in Palm Springs and what she says the city should have done differently. <laughs> 